In this video, I'm sharing 10 forgotten features I see a lot of people always overlook that's already built in on their iPhones. And yes, timestamps of everything will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's start off with those situations where you just have to scan like an important document paper. And not a lot of people know about this, but the iPhone does have a built-in scanner. As I always see a lot of people download third-party apps and pay money as well as being bombarded with ads, when the built-in folder app on the iPhone, this one from Apple, if you long hold, you'll see there's a scan document feature. Simply tap on it, it immediately opens up the app, line everything right, and it automatically just scans that image. And if you look closely, it's hard to even tell if this will scan off an iPhone. It looks like it will scan by a printer. You also have different filter adjustments. You cropped it as well, but if you like to limit any color, you do have grayscale, black and white functionality. And then all you need to do is just hit the back arrow, which allows you to take another one, just like so. And you can just begin stacking them over and over again if it's like a long list of papers. And then just tap the check mark. From here, you can decide to save it on your iCloud or any different category on your iPhone internal storage. Now, if you just picked up an iPhone, you know it's in the control center where you can actually monitor the exact battery life percentage. But a lot of users still don't know about this, but you can actually put the battery percentage in the battery icon. You see, this feature is disabled by default. You see, if we go into settings and go into battery, and this is where you can actually go in and enable battery percentage, because by default, it's just this battery icon. It's hard to see the exact percentage. Enable battery percentage. Now, when sending a message to somebody, instead of using a digital like keyboard, if you like to hand write a message to somebody, there actually is a feature built in on iPhones. To access this, you, it will require you to go into landscape mode. So allow it to turn. And if we look closely, this new icon pops up right here. So if you're really good at cursive, you can literally just hand write your message. And it saves a couple of them right here from previous messages you have created. And you can just do this and then hit done. And now you gave that little special somebody a true happy birthday message right there on your iPhone. And then if you're somebody who likes to go to sleep with over your headphones or wireless earbuds, does not have to be native Apple AirPods or Beats as an example, they all have access to the sleep mode ability. As you launch control center right here, and we tap plus and then hit add control, if we search up ambient, there's an ambient music section. This is built in on your iPhone, which allows you to have sounding sounds for sleep, chill, productivity purposes, kind of like lo-fi, and well-being. So by simply adding one of these, and you don't need to have an Apple Music subscription to have access to this, it immediately plays soothing music as you're hearing right now. So it's pretty cool that we have built-in ambient sounds for those situations. Now, recently Apple allowed it so that you could actually remotely control another user iPhone or an iPad. This is great to use in situations where you're trying to explain like your parents or your grandparents something and they're having a hard time. You can literally take over their phone and control it remotely. To perform this, you will require to launch the FaceTime app as both parties will have to be on the same call. And then one iPhone needs to tap on these dots right here. And where it says screen sharing, tap on this. And then you could either ask, you could either ask to share their screen or ask to share my screen. Since we're trying to control their device, we're going to ask to share. And on the opposite phone, they need to accept it by hitting share. Now it's not going to work on my device because both are linked to the same account. But down here, you'll see like a little finger icon. Click on that. And then the other person will get a message on their end saying the other user will like to control your device. They need to hit allow. And this will allow you to actually remotely control their iPhone, even though you're a million miles away, as long as you have internet connection. So it can help with your technical support needs, as well as be able to access their control center and adjust certain things that they absolutely need to. And then before we go into the next one, if you could kindly take two seconds to hit that like button and like, those really do help out the channel as that allows the channel to be continued and empowered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you guys don't see ads for like an in-video segment taking like a minute or two off your time to tell you to subscribe to like some type of VPN or something like that. I personally don't enjoy that when it comes to watching my videos. And thank to you guys, we do not need to rely on ads. So 
Thank you so much for those that took the time on hitting that like button like and apologies for the person with the leaf blower outside. Hopefully the microphone doesn't pick that up. Let's carry on. Now the spotlight search on the iPhone is actually pretty powerful because you go ask it, ask it medical questions all right here on the screen. It will even give you the answer as you can see and I also have the ability to copy and paste it somewhere else. But the calculator app is pretty powerful as well because a new feature that was recently added as a powerful tool is as soon as you get done with the calculation if you'd like to go back you do have this little clock icon right here you could tap on and it'll actually allow you to go back on some like your previous equations you entered and when you tap on one you can resume where you last left off pretty awesome nice little tool right there now if you're a user who uses the podcast app let's say you're enjoying the podcast that you're listening to notice how the iphone now uses apple intelligence to create little different chapters but if there's like a section, just like a section you just want to share with a friend or a family, but you don't want them to listen to the entire podcast, you can just tap the dots above here, hit share, and you can select exactly where you like them to start off from. So if it's like a small section you just want them to listen to, you could just do that and then they don't have to listen to the entire podcast, they could just listen to that section. Now these new iPhones have unique abilities, such as the always on display can actually show your wallpaper whenever you enable always on display, but not every user likes to see the wallpaper in the back or have the always on display enabled. I just noticed the title of that podcast was something silly, but hopping into the settings and we go into display and brightness. If you scroll down, you have the always on display option right there. From here, you could enable it so it shows the wallpaper or doesn't show the wallpaper. You could allow it to blur the wallpaper if you want it to. You could also add blur to the wallpaper if you like to show the wallpaper but be blurry, as well as disable notifications or turn it off entirely. But with all the wallpaper settings turned off, now if I lock my screen, it'll just show me the time, date, and whatever complications I have down here, as well as what's currently playing. And then the password app is absolutely powerful and amazing. But one of my most favorite features is when we launched it, you could either share passwords with like groups, friends, family, if you have like gaming subscriptions you like to share or services. But if we go into the Wi-Fi category and just go ahead and select the Wi-Fi, you have the ability to generate a QR code. So if your friend is on an Android phone, they could just scan this QR code and they will quickly just connect them to the Wi-Fi without you having to actually give them the long Wi-Fi password. Super powerful stuff. Definitely does make life a lot easier when you know what you're doing and you know about these little cool features. Aside from that, there we have it. Those are all the cool things that I always see a lot of people always overlook or didn't realize their iPhone can do. It's not just exclusive to the Pro models. As long as you're on the latest version of iOS 26, all these features you see here are compatible. Except for the always on display. I believe iPhone 11s, but those don't support iOS 26. So you should be good. Other than that, I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. But if you want to watch more, maybe you'd like to see some cool tips and tricks, but this time on the CarPlay side of things, I highly recommend checking out this video over there where I go through all the amazing new tools that CarPlay gave us on this latest version of iOS 26. Thank you so much for watching.